It is the second last day of Parliament sitting here in Canberra. At the front of Parliament House, there is a rally going on. Protest group Get Up waves goodbye to the budget. We've had hundreds of Get Up members turn out, um, a bunch of politicians all here. It's uh, what I'm sure speaking for Christine, Clive and I is the coolest event that we are going to attend today. Well, one thing is for certain, this budget is all barnacle and no boat. Delighted to be in the Senate and watch the deregulation of universities voted down. How good did that feel? And if they bring it up again next year, we'll do it again. I'm here today because I've decided that you have to get active to show the government it's not okay what they're doing to the Australian way. We feel our message did get through with the um, deregulation of universities and the GP co-payments. Universal health care is a fundamental principle in this country and we are not going to see these GP co-payments. I can announce to you I'm sure that there'll be no co-payment in this country. These leaders come to us from different parties and different perspectives, but they stand here today united against this budget in an unprecedented show of political opposition. Tony Abbott's unfair budget has to go. Let's make sure they get the message. We do not want to go down the American path. The fight goes on, and next year we will prevail again. I'm here because I'm delighted <laughs> that this budget, which celebrates inequality, has been defeated and sent off to sea. Get Up members signed and tweeted. They wrote their newspapers and called their radio stations. They put up posters and funded TV ads and billboards. And 10,000 more are sending their good riddance messages. But most importantly, they opened their hearts and shared their stories with their leaders to finally send this budget off.